In this video, I'm going to show you how to create better wood textures inside SketchUp. So what you'll learn in this video is relevant to all textures, but um, I use a lot of wood textures in the projects I build in SketchUp, so I thought I'd start there. Now, this board on the left is a default texture inside SketchUp. I just went to wood here in the uh, with the paint tool and selected this one right here and painted it on this board. Now, if we look at the board to the right of it, it is a much better texture, and I'll show you how to create something like this, but let's first talk about this one. So all I did was hit B for the paint tool, grab this texture, and painted it on the face of this board. Now, there's a little more that you can do to make this look better. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is scaling textures and, and altering the position of them. So what's going on here, the reason this looks so blurry, SketchUp actually gives you a better texture than you're seeing here. It's just not scaled to this board properly. So I'll show you how to fix that. If you click on the face of an object, see how I've just got this one face selected. All you have to do is right click or control click on it and go to texture. If texture is not popping up, you may have a component. So if this were a component, I'll go ahead and make it a component and show you what to do here. Okay, so now if it's a component, when you click on it, it doesn't select the face, but you can triple click on the component like this and then click on the face. So again, I just triple click on my component that puts it in edit mode, click on the face. And now what we're going to do is right click, go to texture and go to position. So if we zoom out, we can see uh, the actual texture here is this repeating pattern and the blue icon here is going to scale it up and down and the green one will scale it left to right but it's also meant to be the rotate tool so it scales by going towards the uh, center axis point and you go away from to make it bigger and you can also turn it like this now we want to get a little closer here and see what we need to do uh, we really need to just scale it down so i'm going to pull this in like this if we look a little closer we've got a better better looking texture. I'm going to keep scaling it down. Okay. So now it looks a lot better than it did. It actually kind of looks like wood. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to do something like this. You can actually create textures out of any JPEG image that you bring into SketchUp. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, I'm going to go to the back side of these and start over. So all you have to do is go up here to file import and then find a JPEG image. So I'll click on this one. Now make sure that it says use as texture. By default, it will say use as image. Mine already said texture because I've been using it, but go to use as texture and click import. And now just click on a corner and drag up to another corner like that. And that's how you add a texture from an image. And I'll show you in just a second where to get these images, but I want to point out that to make your projects look realistic, you're going to need to rotate the grain sometimes. So the grain's going in the wrong direction here. So again, what we do is we click on just one face, right click or control click if you're on Mac, go to texture, go to position, and we're going to rotate this 90 degrees. So I'm just going to drag it like that, hit enter. And then now if we look at it, it looks a lot better. So the way that you can find these images is you can Google SketchUp wood textures and there's a lot of places to find them. Um, I went right here to architectures and they've got a ton of wood textures. And if you click on one and go to download, you'll see that they've got like a pro version for higher resolution images, but I actually don't use that at all. I just use the free uh, small one here. So you can click on it and download it to your computer just like that. And then we'll go back into SketchUp and we can um, go to File, Import, find the file, and then import it into the project. Now, actually, this is a good example. This one is not allowing me to put this on here, and that's because I've made it a component. And so we can either explode the component by going to Explode, or we can triple click to edit it and give us a face like that. Now, when we go to Import and we select the file, we can choose our texture and it will allow us to put it on the face like this. And again, this one is in the wrong direction. So I'll just right click, go to texture, position, and then rotate it 90 degrees. And again, you can scale these. 
the blue and the green one are the ones you're going to use most of the time. The yellow one sort of distorts the plane that this image is on. But um, that is how you make better wood textures inside SketchUp. And again, these are the ones that we brought in from images online. And here's one that was default inside SketchUp. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.